Good morning, everyone. On this Wednesday, September 21st, we have a feast day today, and it's the Feast of St. Matthew. And for our first reading, it is going to be found from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 1 through 7 and 11 through 13. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one Spirit, as you were called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all, in and in all. But grace has been given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now I have to say, the book of Ephesians is one of those favorite books of mine. Uh, there's a certain majesticness about the book. Uh, you see the grand scheme in Apostle Paul's eyes of the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so uh, this is classic out of the book of Ephesians. But it's out of this uh, that there's a phrase in here that will always be etched in my mind. And it's this one at the very end. It says, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Those words were incredibly important in my life when I was still searching out. You know, there were so many different denominations and stuff. And when I read those words, you know, one faith, one baptism, it's like there's so many different opinions on this one. And this was etched in my mind saying, well, Lord, where is this? <laughs> Well, I eventually became a Catholic, so obviously I figured that one out. But this day is a day in which we celebrate in this one God's gift. And one of the gifts is apostles, including the gift of Apostle Matthew. What a great gift that is given to us. A tax collector, someone that would be hated by most people. And yet God chose him through Jesus Christ to be one of our apostles. Let's celebrate his life and what he has done to accomplish for the church. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we'll see each other soon. Bye for now.